Hey, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is episode number five. Yeah, in the last episode, we um, did another job with Micah. We robbed a stagecoach. Just after we robbed it, the O'Driscoll showed up and it turned into a shit bomb. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. Get some energy and then we'll go and see Dutch in Rhodes. Yeah, so we did the train ice with John Marston. That went pretty all right. We got a fairly decent pair. We did some rustling of sheep, but we did not get paid for that because we had to leave Valentine pretty quick. Dutch was wanted by, oh, Leviticus Cornwall, the train that we robbed. So we kind of asked for that and we got run out of town. We went shopping with Sadie. Yeah, so let's just get into it. Oh, hey, Arthur. Not yet, Sean. Gotta go see Dutch. Okay, town of Rhodes. Dutch has asked us to be nice people, don't cause any trouble. So it's gonna be interesting to see how we make money a legitimate way without robbing people, you know? He said he wanted to go and see the sheriff. Let's go and see him. Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. That's the sherry. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. Oh, my God. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Okay, we're going totally straight here, working for the law. I'm even wearing a badge. Archibald. How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh. <laughs> Yes, uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Tell on Congratulations it. on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. <laughs> God. Hey, Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaite's. I told you about the Braithwaite's. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family. 
had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, I don't think we're legitimate law helping Whoa. them. I think we're Whoa. gonna be trying to Hold up. use them or something. See that wagon? Oh. You want me to get down? Yeah, I think, I think Dutch is playing this guy, but to what end, I don't know. Dear me, that don't look good. He hasn't told me his plan, Dutch. I need to talk to him. Come on, mister. What's going on? Keep your eyes open. This must have happened recently. Hmm. Hey, come anything? have a look at this. Deputy, get over here, please. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Said he'd run see into if them. We've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. The Lemoyne Raiders. What am I doing again in my house? Let's go. There's okay. nothing more we can do here. Come on, let me up. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell, Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Go right at the crossroads. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. They're right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. Would drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had oh, one tiny hand, hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Yeah, Dutch needs to tell me his plan. But we're just going to go along with this for now. <laughs> so, there we go. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite's a thing. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. So we're gonna clean out some moonshiners. Get my lasso out ready. See? See? 
What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, handle this. Well, the way I see Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Yeah, we just get Let's it done. Split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Um, we'll take the left. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Yeah, this uh, this Archibald, he doesn't realise that he's dealing with professionals. I mean, we do this Remember for a living. Right, so we're just gonna knock these guys out. Okay. I mean, moonshiners. They're probably. Nothing one by the bridge over there compared to what we've been dealing with. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll send Bill. I think you take this one, Bill. One with Bill, pleasure. you got this. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, he's like, oh, he's gonna drown. Right, okay, carry the moonshine to the wagon. Holy shit, look how much moonshine they've got. I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? <coughs> sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so I think you're real funny, don't you? <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Shit. Let's go. That belongs to the Lamorne Raiders, you sons of bitches. Oh, we got trouble. We got some trouble here. Oh shit, there's more around the back. Him by surprise. Where did these sons of bitches? Wagon. Shit, I'm out of dead eye. Last one, right? You I don't him? see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Yeah, let me Run loop real me. quick. Okay, we're done. Let's get back to Dutch. return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it. For personal consumption, it's sort of part of the job. But 
I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. But my cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life it. It. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Dutch has been on. in town five you minutes. Ride with me. And already okay. he's. he's Playing the Can law, the sheriff and that. Oh my god. Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Hosea. Did it back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. Oh. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Oh, okay, okay. You want to do this? Uh, except. Okay, you're off. That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. Oh, he, he went first. Cheeky. I I can race him into the massive mode. No, I don't you think I can. Much of a rider. We'll see about that. Oh, shit. Go, go. Come on, this is hard, but I can do it. Change camera. I don't even know which way I'm going because there's no map. It's never graceful with you, is it? Oh, Dutch. Shit, it's going that way. No, gosh. Oh. Oh, he's gonna win now. Right, I'm gonna have to do it proper. He's gonna beat me now. I'm gonna catch him. What have you got, Dutch? What have you got? Unless you catch a second win, this won't be much of a race. I'm just picking my moment, Dutch. My ass is getting tatted. Oh no, you don't. Left, uh, uh, right, sorry. <laughs> Shit, it's coming up fast. I oh, don't, you don't. Oh. <laughs> oh, I am sorry, son. Well, spare the gloating, Dutch. Oh, I'm gloating. Not a gloating. What I won? Why would I laugh at the fact that you haven't learned after all these years to ride a horse very well? That is a source of great sorrow to me. Very funny. I had fun with you today. Be well. Here? Well, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. Huh. Wow. Proper bonding time with Dutch, right? Here he is. The man's 
save my hide not once, but twice. What you want, Micah? Nothing. Just saying thank you, brother. I can't call you brother, can't I? I think I like you even less when you're friendly. You're the first person ever told me that. Mm. Fuck off, Micah. Uncle. Oh my god. You okay, Uncle? Yeah, I'm gonna do some sniffing around, see if I can drum up some leads. Well, do it quietly. Uncle's gonna actually go and do some work. Yeah. Okay, let's go and see what Molly wants. I like this camp. Everyone's. Uh, all's, oh, here we go. C can I have a quick word? So. Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I, I really love him, you know. But if he, like he always says, loyalty is everything. So, Arthur, excuse me, Miss O'Shea. Oh, what cool. you want? I bring a gift, the great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now. I can risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. <laughs> you just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No hmm. need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. <laughs> you boys should do this. It, it's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine, I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here, where there's an old ruined church, before it connects with the rest of the wagon train, very easy pickings. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. <laughs> well, at least he's pulling his weight a bit, and Come he's on actually then, found you the lead. Bastards. Yep. How you get wind of this old man? We only been down here all of five minutes. Well, while well, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing, I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just God, give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. Oh shit. So what is it? Tree. Scoped here, exactly. Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. I like Uncle's okay, arse. Hold up here. We should cover our faces. Oh, they'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> oh, Just like clockwork. <laughs> cool. Let's do it. <clears throat> Let's see what Uncle does. Don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, oh no, they so make it. <laughs> doesn't. I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. <coughs> okay, 
Why don't you check out around the back? God, we're robbing Cornwall Arthur, again. Help me out here. Oh my god, I should be wearing a mask like Charles. Let me put on my mask real quick. There we go. Now, let's see what's inside. Anybody get, get the feeling that we're making trouble already in Rhodes? And we're supposed to be yeah, keeping out of trouble? Good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Right, that's good. Let's go, let's go. Shit! Hey! Think I say something! Oh, great. Let's go, Arthur. Let's go. There's only yeah. two. There's only two of them. Ah, uh, what? Oh, ah, right. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Shit, there's an armor. Okay. I only saw two at first. There's a whole lot of them back there. Right, fellas. Come on. I better get my dead eye out real quick. Um. He was just a nobody. Oh shit. Shit, I think I did the one. Oh shit. Where the hell are we going? Get out of here! What kind of dunk? Dig in, boys! Come on! Yeah yeah! Still a lot back there. You can move fast when you have to, can't you? Just shut up, Williamson. Y'all made a big mistake. Quick, get off the trail. The uncle's got a faster horse than me. Let's shake him and get back to camp. No, we need to find a place to lie low. We can't risk leaving Cornwall's men at camp. Jump. Until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watch for now. Sure. Well, we uh, get some rest. Mm. All right. <clears throat> Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Well, look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I don't know. Let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... I why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? Hey, hey, tell me what you heard. I don't... Maybe I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. It ain't me. It better not be. All right. Coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Uh, sir. Uh, there's someone coming over. Uh, there's two coming over. I wonder if we could just not make a sound. The place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside. I'll go around the back. Charles. Place looks empty to me. Now, the old guy up there is full of crap. 
I don't think they're here. Don't see any horses. Come on, let's head back. Faust! Place is empty! Shit! Oh, fuck. Looks like we're shooting our way out of here, fellers! Again. There's a goddamn horde of them on the left here. That nearly hit me. Ah! I've got no dead oh, eye. <laughs> Charles, you <laughs> ripping Bill. Oh, shit, this fire's spreading. Is his lead, the idiot. Where are we going, Bill? We'll try to lose him in the woods. Oh, look at Uncle. He's got to be too old for this by now. He's split up a bit. Try to confuse him. Arthur, with me. I love Charles. He's so funny. He don't fuck around. A true warrior. Perfect. We need to do this quietly. You. Yeah, that's gonna be my fault. And I'll take the right, okay? You're right or my right. Shit. Ooh, I think Uncle got them both. Really, those boys ain't as quiet as us. Guess we should go give them a hand. Charles and Bill. <laughs> Running into trouble here. Nothing, um... 
Tuner rifle. Got him, got him. Oh, one left, one left. Not one of you is gonna live. I'm not gonna flank him. Oh, shot him in the knee. Ow. That would have hurt. We all still alive? Yeah, yeah. just about. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got Cornwall on our back. It was an again. honest mistake. I had to leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up. Quan, run quick. Good luck, Jens. Stay quiet and move. Wow, I never thought Uncle would be the one that got us into trouble. Okay, we're at camp. Um, I believe Lenny's got something to sell us, so let's go and see Lenny. He's over here somewhere. Um, I think this is Uncle's horse. What a beautiful horse. And where's my horse? <laughs> All these horses, it's so Ain't cool. You cold? Get up, old Driscoll. Not you again. There she is. Genevieve. Let's give you. No, I'm just gonna give you a pack. You've got plenty of food. You done good, girl. There's Lenny. Oh, there's Tilly. You okay, Hello. Arthur? You wanna talk? Uh, go on, let's have a quick talk. Yes. What's been going on with you? I don't know. I... What? Been acting kind of crazy. Mm-hmm. How so? I've been killing a lot. I mean, innocent folk. I don't know why. Yeah, that's bad, Arthur. That's real bad. I know. I just... Well... You know me. Sure. I know you. But then you go act all crazy. Ripper, but I've always been crazy. No, you haven't. Maybe Mike can put a spell on me. And maybe you're just being a fool. You know, there's always that. Yeah, I don't think we should have um, rescued Mike. Let's go and see Lenny. Arthur! Yes, kid. You got a lot on? Ah, uh, just hunting for all this hillbilly gold that Dutch and Hosea seem to think is out there just waiting to be stolen. <laughs> Why? I got something. Could be good. Yeah? Yeah, I was in Rhodes talking to some of the colored folk. They said there's a gang of fools holed up in the swamps east of here who think their war ain't never ended. The Civil War? Yeah, apparently it's still raging in these fools' minds 30 years later. Okay. <laughs> that ain't my point. These ignorant fools are weapon dealers. Yeah, have been selling weapons to Cuba and South America for years. Anyway, the old boy I was talking to reckoned there might be a bunch of cash just sitting around. And failing that, maybe a nice stash of weapons. It's just a bunch of crazies, Gardner? Exactly. Wow. Worth taking a look at least, isn't it? That was my thinking. Said it was at some place called Shady Bear, deep in the woods. Okay. <laughs> I like Lenny. He's so cool. Come on. It's this way. On me. You know, I might have met these crazies before. You have been drinking again? No. Well, yes, but... No, that's not how I might have met them. 
I think some of them harangued me and Sadie when we were coming back with supplies. Mrs. Adler? Yeah. And Mrs. Adler did just fine. More than fine, actually. She's terrifying. But I got a notion these fellers is one and the same. Yeah, we won't find no shortage of angry Peckerwood idiots in the state of Lemoyne. That's for sure. Is it really that different in this state? We haven't come far. It seems like it is. These boys got a manner about them, but I haven't necessarily noticed. All respect, Mr. Morgan. You wouldn't notice. Might call you a nigger lover. They see us riding like this. But most of it is a, a glance or a word. And after that, a visit in the night. Well, out west, it's... Out west is out west. And you're all who you are. Right. Decent folks. But some places down here, they judge different. Well, I don't know. Guess it can't be so easy for you, Lenny. I'm sorry you're caught up in this. Well... I guess their gold's still shiny, and their guns still shoot. <laughs> so I'm game for robbing any and every one of these bastards for all they got. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Plus, it beats being lynched back in Blackwater with all of you by my side. I guess it does. <clears throat> Feels like we're close. It's a rundown old plantation house down in the bayou somewhere. Let's take it slow. Be cautious. If, like you say, these crazies are sitting on weapons, we're gonna want to strategize a little before getting shot at. <laughs> of course. They said find the old battlefield and keep on going. Well, we got some wrecked old Civil War weaponry. Now where are the wrecked old Civil War holdouts? Wow. See that church up ahead? They're supposed to use it as an outpost. Heard they got men going between here and the big house all day. Okay. Look at this field. <laughs> Imagine getting caught up in a fight like this. Yeah, I don't care to. It looks like nobody survived. Hold those reins in. <laughs> Let's just take a look around the place. I just love that. Hold those uh, reins in. It doesn't look like anyone's here. We don't know that for sure. Let's have us a nosy. He's so cool, this you guy. Someone's on the track. Oh, what's happening? Inspect him. Look there, a wagon. Let's see where he's going. Oh, he's drawn. You're on me now. He's drawn the right church. Behind. He's drawn the church. Let's keep our distance. And Just he's... two fellers out on the road. I need to read that hey, journal. That looked like dynamite in the back there. It looks like we're on to something. I think I see something. Into the avenue, between the trees. What? Might be it. Might be. Keep it steady. I reckon we can leave our mounts up there, off the trail. Good enough to me. Come on. There's a few on that wall up there. Make sure you bring the sharpshooter. I'll take the other side. You get in cover there. Um, I'll take. I'll take both weapons. Use your weapon scope to investigate Shady Bill. Have you seen anything? Yes. Yes. There you are, all right. And they're armed. Oh, 
almost a militia. All right, some tents. Hey, hey, to the left of you. Hey, move that scope over to the right. You ain't seen anything worth shooting or stealing? Over what? Can you look again for me? You got men covering the house? Got a Gatlin gun up there, too. Well, they got that house locked down real tight. Uh... Down by the road? We'd do well to draw them into one spot if we're gonna make a pass at this. What else? We got something, right? Oh, we got something. We can hit them head on, fight them honest. Or you could go down there acting friendly. Friendly? With these folks? Just draw them into one spot. Then I'll start shooting. <gasps> well, that might be the dumbest idea I've ever heard. But hey, I'm always up for a performance. Um, let's send Lenny. Going in, kid. We'll cover him. Give him both barrels of charm. Wouldn't try anything less. And so may it be. <laughs> Praise be, my people. What do you want? Praise be, my people. Praise be. <laughs> now, I come in peace to discuss the merit <laughs> of glory and interest you in eternity. <laughs> Praise be, my That's people. Sad. Praise well, I don't stand in front of him. Are you? <laughs> Have you? Holy shit. Got him, all right. They might be on the way. Now let's grab something and get out. Sounds like a plan. Hey, this could be promised. What do you got? Here. Come on. Ooh. This is full of new rifles. We can sell those, right? We sure can. We'll check the rest later. Now, come on. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Get this back to camp. Yep. Yeah. Well, the war's Don't over the... for these guys now. You want me to drive off? Of... Don't spare the nag. Come on. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. G up. Fall in. Riders, coming our way. Keep it together here. What's a black feller doing coming out of Shady Bell? 
in one of our wagons. Um, let's antagonize. You see, we already dropped a bunch of your people to get this wagon. You gonna make us drop the three of you as well? <laughs> Oh shit, my rounds. <laughs> yep. Leonard, <laughs> Leonard, <laughs> boy, oh boy. <laughs> you did good. We did it. Well, let's get to camp before saying anything like that. I know Sean's been bringing in quite a lot lately, and I wanted to... <sighs> it's good to have something to show like this. Sean's a loudmouth bragging. Don't worry about what Sean does. Hey, I like him, you know? Well, so do I. It's my better judgment. Just... You worry about you. If he wasn't on Leviticus Cornwall's train with me, we had to dig him out of Blackboard. But... No, no, but nothing. Me and Dutch... And everyone who counts, we know what you do for this gang. We notice. Keep it up. You're gonna start seeing things change for you. Okay then. Okay. Thank you, Arthur. These are fine rifles. Right? I'm gonna keep one, just for me. <laughs> hey, I always enjoy riding with you, kid. <laughs> you know how to fight. Hey, you too. Yeah, we Any like time, him. Arthur. He's cool, Lenny. I like everybody in this gang. Except Micah and Bill. That's Bill. Oh, I even I like Uncle. Stay away from me. Oh, but, but, but I got a tip. That's exactly what I'm afraid of. Oh, it's a goodie, I'm telling you. It always is with you. Then we end up hidden in a burning wow. barn getting shot at. Yeah. Sad man, Arthur Morgan. Sad man indeed. Anything about us? No. It was just a uh, locals, a local problem. A fella I used to know. Okay. This is well, would you please try to keep away from old people while we're getting this much attention? I understand, boss. And I'm sorry for being foolish. It was an old thing, Enjoy and my us? emotions got the better of me. It's by here for you, lads. Yeah, Dutch. you forgot to sell him about strawberry. I, you boys are my family now. You're welcome. How much thanking does one man George. need? You owe me. You know what? Bill Williamson is just right here. You okay, maybe? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. Up, Bill. What is it? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Am I gonna like the sound of this? Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. A very good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> you really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. Ain't it for serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? 
It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should wait until the morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. All right. Let's go. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. He lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're going to send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just going to rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town. Nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a uh, insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay. Let's move out. Back to Valentine. The town we shot up to hell. This seems like a really bad idea. Yeah. So, tell me again about this big can't go wrong plan of yours. Oh, it can go wrong. Anything can, once the shooting starts. Well, that's reassuring. Like I said, we'll see how it looks. If we can get in all right, we'll send Miss Jones ahead to the bank. They won't recognize her. I'll show you boys how it's done. What are you thinking this time? I don't know. Fellers always like the lost little girl, but nobody plays a drunken harlot boy like me. Nita should work. Once she's got them distracted, we'll move in. When I was scouting the place the other day, there was only a couple of guards. We deal with them and any customers who are feeling brave. And you always fancy yourself as the vault man, right, Arthur? Now I see why you brought me. Hey, <laughs> I'm more than willing. Nah, best I do it. Oh, and did Dutch tell you I've also been cooking up some deals with them gray boys? What? No. What kind of deals? See, you don't realize, Morgan. I'm out there putting in the work same as you. I've been drinking with them a couple times now. Seems they're looking for some extra security. Yeah, I'm sure they are. Could be something in it for us. Well, just be smart about it. We got a lot of irons in that fire right now. Yes, I know, Morgan. Holy shit, I've just noticed a big bullet hole in Bill's jacket. But he must have, um, you know, a wound he's picked up wearing that jacket in the past. Holy shit. He survived that. You see the hole in his jacket there. Wow, that's so cool. Can't believe you got me going back to Valentine. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Ah, oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that. Once things get going. Holy shit. Who else is with us? Oh, is that Lenny? Yeah, Lenny, cool. I didn't recognize him in that clothes. Yeah, we got Lenny with us, cool. <clears throat> and of course, Karen. 
Glad you and Lenny are alone for this, Karen. Someone's got to keep you boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember of it. You've always been a bad drunk. And before you say it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. That's Valentine. Much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, all right? Bet you didn't think we'd end up over this way. So, what's going on with these two families? The Greys and whatever the other one's called? It's more Dutch and Jose's thing. An old feud they're trying to get in the middle of. If it plays right, they reckon we can get some gold out of it. That will have to wait. We're here. Let's take it nice and easy. We're playing it cool. We did nothing wrong last time we was here. Okay. Let's leave the horses here off the main draft. Easy. All right, gentlemen. Here we are. Okay. Get ready. Karen? Go to work. Of course. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. So, we never decided. Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Um, t -t -t -t. Uh, let's go with the lost girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? You break my heart. <laughs> you really do. <laughs> if you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay, we're going. No, hold on. Wait till she's got him real dead. Would you care to? I was child, and I don't want to go back to the workhouse. Yeah, either. Get your goddamn right. hands up! Go. This is a goddamn robbery! Nobody move! Get no word up! Nobody move! Don't make us hurt you! Here, unlock the door. We're good. Oh, oh you think we're here? Oh, oh, come on. Oh, open the goddamn vault. Oh, oh, open it. Oh, oh, oh. Anything I can loot? What's this? I can't pick that up. How's it going in there? Too slowly. You better get that door open right now. I'm nearly there. You got damn slow! Yeah, he's taking his time. <sighs> Going slow on purpose. Shut up, a bitch! Hurry up! Come on! Come on! You gotta move. <sighs> okay. It'll give you five seconds. Four, three, two. Ooh. Oh, fuck out of my way. I'm in. What do we Someone do? Someone come make sure the shoot behaves himself in here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I. Uh, the, the, the manager does that. Uh, I. God damn it. Now oh. what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. I'll be as quick as I can. And I'm gonna blow them. Reckon I'm gonna have to blow them. Okay. We gotta move before they blow. Oh. The law will be all over us. Right. Let's go. Now you shut the hell up and be still. I'll go check the front. Right. Put one on there. How are you getting on? I'm gonna put one on everyone. Put on as fast as I can.
my light fuse. Ooh, someone with a bad bat. Well, I am ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. <clears throat> Alright, let's go. Gentlemen, hurry! I said come out now! Oh shit. What do we do? I don't know, give me a sec. If the shooting starts, you're all dead. I'll go. Follow me. What are you insane? Probably. Don't shoot! Don't shoot him! I made a terrible mistake! Get out of there, miss! Sorry. Oh, God. Still didn't do that bouncy ball. They're all going that way. Okay. Trouble doesn't follow us back to roads, you know. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> we're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, <laughs> this you. is a very good take. That you'll be happy, even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business <clears throat> to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp and make sure you ain't followed. This is down. 
Okay, we're going to Mrs. Downs. Every time we do a, a mission for Mr. Strauss, her Strauss, there's this gloomy, dark music that hovers, and I really don't like it. I think it's like reflecting on Arthur not wanting to do this kind of work. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, aren't you? I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out. But he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you've as good as killed him yourself. And don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Ooh, Arthur looks tired. Hey, to Miss Karen, Bill, Lenny, Arthur. They're doing their jobs. It's about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. First time here, I think. Uh, candy's in the middle there, next to the cute little dollies, and what's left of my self-respect. I have a catalog, too. Yours. Done. That should be good. Thanks for your assistance. So these are the greys, okay. Go and see. Talk to this dude. Hey, uh, I was hoping you'd talk a moment. I'm a student of the history of the region and, uh, I ain't the one to speak to. Try Master Bo. Think he's down there by the wood store. Boy's got all the time in the world. Huh. I'll see you at the sheriff's office. Oh, yeah, that's where he's from. Excuse me, friend. We friends? Not yet, but he is hoping. I guess. We don't get a lot of traveling men here, and suddenly there's a whole phalanx of mysterious but strangely helpful Yankees about the place. Is there? What are you doing here? I'm just looking for work. Well, looking for something. 
Don't worry, your secret's safe with me. What secret? I got a secret of my own. Are you secretly normal? Excuse me? Never mind. The thing is, I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us and the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. <laughs> love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray, son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Greys have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow, if tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. Seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Greys, we've always got money. No brains, mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet. Please. We made it, and nobody's seen us. Let's see this woman of the future. Are you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange. Yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the Dark Ages, or, well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different, but if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful, like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, they're something else. <laughs> you got a family, sir? No, not really. Well, they tolerate him because of the money. But me, with my ideas above my station, they can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit, but here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? Sure. I have to pay my bounty one day. So we're welcome here, but we're not welcome at the other Remember other me? Place. I'm working for the Greys now. Alright, come on. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just... 
No more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. You better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Oh, there they There. There they are. What are we getting involved Boy, with here? What are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Like what? Mm -hmm. Fight this mob. We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun. Miss Calhoun. My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a... Protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you'll feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> so are these All right, ladies. Voting for women's rights. We or know something? our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. Oh my God! I'm gonna kill both of this. Keepers and daughters, we cook the food and we now, fetch now. the water. Singing Take us down Main Street, right through town to the steps of the Bank of Roads, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan. Are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Or maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, <laughs> Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure that it's a peaceful assembly. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the mail of the species. Well, that's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. A little further, please. Oh, getting booze. Just past the bank. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. Ladies! Do we have to? Get down! Go home! Come on! Go home! Shut your mouth! What are you doing? Oh, my God, everybody talk at once. Too many voices. We gotta get out of here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Mm -hmm. wow. yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly old goat. Ah. 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 His philosophy hey. dependent on biology. Shh. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. Shh. What are you doing here? Listening. 
I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yeah, you learn yourself some manners, cousin. Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was. Bo, weren't we just leaving? Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. What? You'll hit me? Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. You gonna do it with these two? I'm sorry, friend. But let the women speak. Oh, your silly cousin, he meant no harm. Look at him. Aren't you a gray anymore? Huh? If I'm nobody. I'm just a visitor. Enjoying your hospitality. All right. Well, you be careful now, you hear? Oh, I shall. Come on. We gotta go before they think twice. Yeah, we don't want to mess up the thing for me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield. No one goes to. Probably not be the best idea. You don't want to go back and hear the speeches? Nah, they're fine. They're fine. Fuck them. Kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. See, he was panicking for Everyone nothing. knows about Penelope and me. <laughs> Everyone knows about Penelope and you. I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. Hmm, the sooner it's fine. out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful! Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Okay, we're back with camp. It all seems quiet. What's everybody doing? Uh, I think we'll go and have a shave real quick. <laughs>